everybody. Today I'm going to review the OTC Model 3181 Heavy Duty 130 Amp Load Tester. Now what this is, is something that's very simple. Anybody can use it and it's going to test 6 volt as well as 12 volt batteries. You're going to be able to tell in about roughly 10 seconds if the battery is any good or not. You know, many times you can test the battery just by the voltage with a multimeter and it could read 12 and a half volts and you would think that the battery is good, but it can have a bad cell inside because the interior of the battery has deteriorated or softened, and now it's not going to start your car. So it's kind of like the weak link is what's going to break the chain. That's typically what a bad cell will do inside the battery. On the outside it can look perfectly good, but on the inside one cell can go bad and it ruins the whole thing. So what this is going to do is clamp right onto the post, you flip the switch, it throws a load on the battery, and it's going to tell you very quickly whether it's any good or not. What I'm going to do is really show you how easy this is to work, and then we're also going to test the charging system in a vehicle. Now to give you a closer look at the OTC, you can see that the screen on this is very large and easy to read, and it does have a needle that will move back and forth to go along with whatever the corresponding input voltage is to the unit. Now it is set on zero, but if for some reason that gets knocked around and it goes below or above the zero when it's not hooked up to anything, you can have a zero adjustment screw right here that you'll be able to move back and forth to reset that. The handle on this is very similar to a pistol grip, it's very easy to hold on to, and the switch is going to be spring loaded. So in order to apply a load through this, you physically must press this in, but as soon as you release your thumb, it's automatically going to cut the power. Now on the side you can see it does have very heavy duty truck jumper cable clamps that really feel nice and tight and they do not feel cheap at all. And there are tabs on the side of the unit that these are going to clamp onto. So you can see when you don't want to use it, you can clamp these right in place and everything's held together. Now on the back of the unit there is a bracket already pre-installed and you can really hang this by a screw or a nail right on the wall and you'll be able to keep it out of the way when it's not in use. Now hooking this up to the battery is very easy, but the first step that you want to do is take a pair of safety glasses and put those on. Because if for some reason there's a spark and this battery exploded in your face, uh, you really don't want to go blind. So the first thing you always want to do is put on safety glasses when working around a battery or a charging system. Now to hook it up, you'll just take the red clamp, clamp that on the positive terminal, take the black clamp, hook that on the negative terminal, and we're already getting a reading of the actual voltage and it's going up about 12 and a half volts which is at the top of the good level. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this now and then we're going to throw a load on it. Okay now I'm going to go ahead and flip that switch. It's going to put a load on this in the form of heat and you don't want to hold the switch for longer than 15 seconds but really even 10 seconds is more than enough. So we'll go ahead and count to 10 and you'll watch that needle. So now I'm going to flip it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. It never went below halfway down the good. That means that this battery has no bad cells and it's not going to have any problems starting the vehicle. And now we're going to test another battery that I know is bad because I had to replace this in a customer's vehicle. Now what's unique about this is it's going to show that it has good voltage when it's hooked up with no load being applied. So if you were just testing it with a multimeter you might not realize that this is the problem. But what's going to happen when we throw the load on here, you're going to see that needle drop and you're going to see exactly why something like the OTC heavy duty load tester can be very useful. Now the first thing we want to do is hook up the clamps. We're going to hook the red one up to the positive side. We're going to hook the black one up to the negative side. And you can see it will go up to good. So right here it's going to say good. And what happens is when we flip that switch, it's going to go down into the weak or replace area. So counting to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it's now at the bottom of weak right into the replace. So that's going to show you that there are bad cells inside the battery and it would not be able to start a vehicle. You're also able to test the charging system on a vehicle with the OTC because it will tell you what the voltage is on the alternator. Now what we'll do is go ahead and hook this up to the battery, turn the vehicle on, and then we're going to see if it's working correctly. 
Okay, now that I've hooked it up to the battery, I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle up. We're gonna watch the needle, and we're gonna test the charging system on this vehicle. And with the engine running, the needle is in the center of the OK, which means that the alternator is working correctly. So now you've seen OTC's 130 amp heavy duty load tester for yourself. It was extremely easy to use. All we had to do was take the clamps, clamp them on the battery posts. It would tell us right off the bat what the voltage was. And then when we flipped the switch, it would tell us if the battery is any good or not when it threw the load on there. Now the first battery, it showed that it was good. But when we took that second battery, even though it showed that it was in the good range as far as the voltage goes, when we flipped the switch, it did go down to replace, and that's because the cells are deteriorating or they're bad inside. So this was a very quick and easy way to tell the condition of those batteries. Now, one thing I really want to point out as far as a safety issue goes, the load that it throws on here, it does that by heating up some coils in the back. They're actually going to turn red hot. So when you're done testing a battery, this would be very dangerous to set down near anything flammable, dry leaves onto carpet or inside a vehicle. You really want to set it down on concrete, asphalt, or even out in the gravel until it's cooled off. Now, because there is a mounting bracket already installed on the back of here, I actually hang it on a screw that's mounted into some cinder blocks so there's no chance of it ever catching anything on fire. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.